Imagine waking up to a world without electricity. Picture the scene. The alarm clock is dead, the lights won't turn on, and your morning coffee is a distant dream. It's not just an inconvenience, it's a complete upheaval of your daily life. This is a reality that could occur not due to some apocalyptic catastrophe but rather because of the increasing vulnerability of our power grid. It's an unseen threat that we often overlook until we're left in the dark. Our power grid, the intricate network that supplies electricity to our homes, businesses, and essential services, is a marvel of modern engineering. Yet, it's not impervious to threats. Aging infrastructure is a significant concern. Power lines, substations, and transformers that were built decades ago are now reaching the end of their lifespan, making them more susceptible to failure. But it's not just old equipment that we need to worry about. The threat of extreme weather events is also on the rise. Hurricanes, floods, and even heat waves can overload the grid, causing widespread blackouts. And then there's the potential for cyber attacks. In our digital age, our power grid is not just a physical entity. It's a network of computer systems that could be targeted by hackers. So what does this all mean for you and me? Well, it means we need to be prepared for not just short-term outages, but prolonged blackouts that could last days, weeks, or even longer. A short-term outage is an inconvenience, but a prolonged blackout? That's a whole different ballgame. It's not just about keeping the lights on, it's about preserving food, having access to clean water, maintaining communication, and ensuring your safety. Being prepared is not about fear, but about facing the reality of our world today. It's about understanding the unseen threat and taking steps to ensure you and your loved ones can weather any storm. It's about resilience, self-reliance, and the power of community. So stay with us as we delve deeper into this topic and equip you with the knowledge and tools to survive a prolonged blackout. Preparing for a blackout means securing the basics of survival. Let's start with water. It's essential, and you'll need at least a gallon per person per day for drinking and sanitation. Storing enough for each member of your household is crucial. Next, let's talk about food. Stock up on non-perishable items, canned goods, and long-lasting food bars. For a bit of variety, consider freeze-dried meals. They're lightweight, easy to store, and can be prepared in no time with just a bit of water. Now imagine a blackout scenario. It's dark, right? That's where lighting comes in. Flashlights, headlamps, solar lanterns, and battery-powered lights are your best friends here. And don't forget about heating. Safe options include wood stoves or propane heaters. But remember, safety first. Always ensure proper ventilation to avoid carbon monoxide poisoning. A well-stocked first aid kit is another must-have. Essential medications, bandages, antiseptic wipes, and any specific medical supplies your family needs should be included. In a blackout, you can't just run to the pharmacy. Last but definitely not least, let's discuss sanitation and hygiene. Stock up on toilet paper, hand sanitizer, soap, and garbage bags. In the event of a prolonged blackout with water shortages, consider alternative sanitation options like composting toilets. It might not be glamorous, but it's practical, and it could be a game changer. In the words of Benjamin Franklin, by failing to prepare, you are preparing to fail. So let's avoid that, shall we? Each of these elements, water, food, light, heat, first aid, and sanitation is a critical piece of the survival puzzle. Remember, your survival depends on your preparedness. So get started today. Take inventory of what you have, identify what you need, and start gathering your supplies. Don't wait until the lights go out. Be ready, be resilient, and be prepared to survive. In a blackout, Creating your own power source can be a lifesaver. Now, we aren't talking about becoming a mad scientist here. It's all about understanding and harnessing the power alternatives available to us. Let's start with solar panels. These shiny beauties can be a game changer. Solar panels convert sunlight into electricity, which can be stored in battery systems to provide power when you need it. They're quiet, they're renewable, and they're increasingly affordable. Plus, they don't require a constant supply of fuel. However, Remember that their performance depends heavily on the weather and the time of day. Next, we have generators. These powerhouses can keep your essential appliances running when the grid goes down. There are different types to choose from, including gasoline, propane, and diesel generators. Each has its own strengths and weaknesses. Gasoline generators are common and relatively inexpensive, but they require a steady fuel supply and regular maintenance. Propane generators are cleaner and quieter, but they're generally more expensive. Diesel generators are powerful and efficient, but they can be noisy and they also need a consistent fuel source. Finally, let's talk about manual tools and equipment. 
These are the unsung heroes of a power outage. A hand-cranked radio can keep you connected to the outside world. A manual can opener can make mealtime a breeze. Non-electric equipment is reliable, easy to use, and doesn't require fuel or recharging. So whether you're harnessing the power of the sun, firing up a generator, or cranking a radio, remember, your ability to adapt is your greatest strength. With the right tools and knowledge, you can turn a blackout from a crisis into an inconvenience. And that, my friends, is the power of being prepared. Preserving food and water is an age-old survival skill. In a world without refrigeration, we'd need to turn back the clock and revisit techniques our ancestors used. Canning is one such method, allowing us to preserve fruits, vegetables, and meats for extended periods. The process involves placing food into jars and heating them to kill microorganisms that cause spoilage. Once cooled, a vacuum seal forms, locking in freshness and flavor. From sweet jams to hearty soups, canning offers a wide range of possibilities. Next, let's talk about root cellars. These are cool dark spaces used for storing root vegetables and other produce. They utilize the Earth's natural insulation to keep temperatures steady. A root cellar can be as simple as a hole in the ground with a cover, or as complex as an underground room. Whichever design you choose, remember that proper ventilation is key to prevent excess humidity and the growth of mold. Now, onto the crucial topic of water. In a prolonged blackout, having safe drinking water becomes paramount. Boiling is the most straightforward method to purify water, killing most bacteria and viruses. However, it won't remove chemicals or heavy metals. For these, you'd need a water filter. These come in various sizes, from portable straw filters to larger gravity-fed systems. Chemical tablets, usually containing iodine or chlorine, are another option. They're lightweight, easy to store, and can purify water in about 30 minutes. But they do leave a distinct taste, and they're not suitable for people with certain health conditions, so they're best used as a backup. Let's also not forget about rainwater collection. With a simple setup involving a clean container and a downspout, you can gather precious water from the sky. Just remember to filter and purify it before drinking. Remember, knowledge is power. The more you know about food and water preservation, the better you'll be able to adapt and survive in a world without electricity. So start practicing these skills now, before you actually need them. You'll be surprised at how empowering it feels to be self-reliant. In a blackout, your home becomes your fortress. It's crucial to make it as secure as possible. Extra locks on doors and windows add a layer of protection. Window bars can also deter potential intruders. Alarm systems, especially those with backup power options, can provide an additional sense of security and peace of mind. Remember though, the best security measures are those that make you feel safe and comfortable in your own home. But security isn't just about fortifying your home, it's about building a community. In times of crisis, neighbors become allies. Forming mutual support groups within your neighborhood can create a network of safety and resource sharing. This can be as simple as knowing who has medical training, who has a generator, or who can help with physical tasks. Sharing knowledge and resources not only strengthens your community, but also increases everyone's chances of survival. Now let's talk about communication. In a blackout, your regular means of communication may not work. Cell towers can fail, the internet could go down, and landlines might not function. So it's wise to have alternative methods of communication. Ham radios and walkie-talkies can be invaluable tools for keeping in touch with the outside world and within your community. They can provide vital information about what's happening and help coordinate efforts in your neighborhood. Signal mirrors, while low-tech, can also be a lifesaver in certain emergency situations, especially during the day. In essence, surviving a prolonged blackout involves more than just having the right equipment and supplies. It's about securing your home, building strong community ties, and ensuring you can communicate in a world without electricity. Remember, no one is an island. In times of crisis, we rely on each other. Together, we are stronger. Surviving a blackout is as much about the mind as it is about the body. In the darkness of an extended blackout, stress and anxiety can sneak up on you. It's crucial to recognize this, as mental health is a significant part of survival. So how do you manage stress in such a situation? First, establish routines. Having a daily schedule brings a sense of normalcy and control over the situation. Include time for relaxation and self-care in this routine. Deep breathing exercises, meditation, or even a simple walk can help reduce anxiety. Next, maintaining a positive mindset is key. 
It's easy to get caught up in the negatives, but focusing on the positives can be a game changer. Remember, you have prepared for this. You have the tools and knowledge to survive. This is not the end, but a challenge you are capable of overcoming. Now, let's talk about entertainment and activities. You might think, entertainment during a blackout? Really? But yes, keeping your mind occupied and spirits high is essential. Board games, storytelling sessions, reading books, or simply sharing experiences can make all the difference. It not only helps pass time, but also strengthens bonds with your family or survival group. Finally, staying informed is vital. Knowledge is power, even more so during a blackout. A battery-powered or hand-cranked radio can be your lifeline to the outside world. It can provide news updates, weather forecasts, and critical information from local authorities. Remember, information is your ally. It helps you make informed decisions and reduces uncertainty, which in turn, reduces stress. So in the face of a prolonged blackout, remember to take care of your mental and emotional health. Manage your stress, keep your mind active with engaging activities, and stay informed. These are just as important as your physical survival. After all, it's not just about surviving the blackout, but also thriving in it. Stay strong, stay calm, stay informed. Preparedness is not a destination, but a journey. It's a road that we embark on, knowing that the path may be long and sometimes challenging, but it's one we must undertake in order to ensure our survival and the survival of those we care for. The threat of prolonged blackouts is real and increasing. Due to a multitude of factors such as aging infrastructure, extreme weather events, and potential cyber attacks, it is crucial to understand that these are not mere inconveniences that last a few hours, but potentially life-altering events that could last days, weeks, or even longer. To survive in such circumstances, we need to be prepared. We've discussed essential supplies like water, food, lighting, heating, first aid kits, and sanitation items. These are the basic necessities that will keep us alive and healthy during a power outage. Power alternatives, such as solar panels and generators, can provide us with much needed electricity to run essential appliances. Manual tools and equipment will also prove invaluable when electrical ones fail. Food and water preservation techniques like canning and creating root cellars can ensure we have a steady food supply, while water filtration and purification methods can provide us with safe drinking water. Security and communication are equally important. Protecting our homes and staying connected with our community can make a significant difference in our survival chances. And let's not forget the importance of mental and emotional preparedness, managing stress, finding ways to entertain ourselves, and staying informed are essential to maintaining our sanity during a prolonged blackout. So, let's start this journey today. Let's not wait for the lights to go out before we start preparing. Remember, it's not just about surviving, but thriving during a blackout. Let's equip ourselves with the knowledge and the tools to face any blackout with confidence and resilience. Remember, even a small amount of preparation can make a big difference. Stay safe and stay prepared.